Hi, I'm Carrie Jo Prather and today we are downtown Sarasota at the Farmer's Market. It's Saturday morning, we're going to take a walk around and see what the market has to offer. We're here very early in the morning, we get as early, here as early as 4 o'clock in the morning and uh, we close up around noonish. Um, we have uh, approximately 60 vendors right now. So this is very much about the community and bringing people together. and and really taking the opportunity to show the diversity of our city and being proud of what we have here because this is a very unique place and very special to me. Hi, we're here with Chris and Latitude Coffee and we're here at the Farmer's Market early on Saturday morning. Chris, can you tell me a little bit about the coffee selection you have? Well, yes, uh, we roast coffee here locally and in fact we roast over 30 kinds of coffee and do about 60 different flavored types of coffee, but because of the size of the, uh, the booth that I have, the size of the cart, we're only able to offer four brewed coffees and about 25 different coffees which would be regular and, and flavored coffees. With the diversity of this area, I'm real proud of all the different foods and people that we have that are a part of this market. We all work together here. Hi, we're here with Eva from Warden Farms, where they sell organic vegetables. Can you tell us a little bit about your business? Sure, we have a 55-acre family farm that's certified organic, and we're located in Punta Gorda, about an hour south of Sarasota. And we grow a variety of vegetables and uh, cut flowers and herbs. And how long have you been here at this farmer's market? We've been at the Sarasota market for two years, and it's a great market. We love it. It has a wonderful, vibrant feel. Hi, I'm standing here with Phil Pagano and the Natural Rug Company. Phil, can you tell us a little bit about the product you're selling? Yeah, uh, what I do is uh, natural fibers, natural rugs, uh, seagrass, sisal, uh, reed. And do you have a store that you work out of also? I, I just work right here, Saturday mornings, it's my store. And 10 years ago I started installing a lot of natural fibers and I sort of uh, almost fell in love with them. I, I just let, you know, just that they're natural and the texture and uh, so I started, uh, I have a little shop at my house and I, uh, you know, I build the rugs there. Different sizes, custom sizes, round rugs. And I hear a little bit of music coming from over here. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, those are my coconut speakers. I actually, uh, you know what, with my display and being natural, I, uh, I wanted to have some music. So I, uh, I started building these coconut speakers, which sort of led into people buying them. I, I play a lot of salsa, a lot of uh, merengue, different music, and people just have a big smile on their face all day long. I can see why people like them so much. It makes me want to dance a little myself. Good. <laughs> yeah, they're, pr they're pretty fun. Hi, I'm standing here with Alan from Awesome Orchids. Alan, how long have you been coming to the farmer's market here? It's been almost 10 years now. And you keep coming back? Every week, 52 weeks a year. I see you have some really pretty flowers here. Can you tell us a little bit about them? Well, they're all orchids, and uh, probably the most popular of the orchids is the Phalaenopsis, which you see here, and uh, it's a very popular orchid, and we have regular customers come every week and like to buy them. And I've noticed you have some really nice pots that you have these orchids planted in also. Is there anything special behind that? It's basically, the plants are, are very tall, and if you don't have something to anchor them, they fall over. So we got into the, the uh, decorative pot business only because it helps hold the orchids standing up. The farmer's market is, is it's almost a way of life. It's a, it's a society all of its own. We all, the vendors all know each other, and every Saturday we kind of help each other out. It's kind of a, a camaraderie, and it's a, it's a it's a niche in, in downtown Sarasota. And we all enjoy this. We wouldn't get up so early in the morning if we didn't. Uh, you know, I, I love to brag about my early time here and when it's quieter and things like that, because you get to watch Sarasota wake up. And it's, uh, it's really neat to watch the city as it's growing and progressing, watching how different buildings wake up in the morning. It's, it's so cool to watch.